Hello once again ladies and gentlemen of the winner's circle. Welcome back to a game I'm excited to play for you guys. It is FTL Faster Than Light. And um, I haven't played this game in a long long time and that's because my first two playthroughs of the game I actually won. And I didn't want to risk um, losing my undefeated streak but you know what? FTL is going to be coming up with a new update soon and I want to play the game again. And kind of get a series running if you guys enjoyed it enough to um keep doing the series, at least update it once or twice a week, and uh, lead it into the new patch that will be coming out. Not sure what the patch is going to be, but it's going to be coming out. And this is by Subset Games, as you can see at the bottom. So we'll hit new game, and I'll go to my list. We've already played the game of the Kestrel Cruiser and the Federation Cruiser, so this time I think I will go with the um, Zoltan Cruiser. Starts off with a Lido missile and a Halberd beam, not my favorites, but I do have Type B as well, which is two ion blasts and a Pike beam. But for now, I'm gonna stick with Type A, and I'm gonna customize the name of my people in the ship after some of my subscribers. So I just picked them at random, and um, this one we are gonna rename Ryoko. Ryoko. I hope I'm spelling all these right. I took a look at them. I should have actually wrote them all down, but there's Ryoko. And then we will have Zyre. And then, sorry, someone in my house is going to the bathroom. I don't know if you can hear the flush. I apologize. And then this one, um, I'm trying to remember the final name. Oh yeah, that's right, Broom. There we go. So yeah, Zyre, Ryoko, and Broom in our ship. And if you guys don't feel left, I'm gonna be doing plenty of these. So. If you guys want to be in the ship, just let me know, and we'll rename this the Play to Win, or the P to W. There we go, and we'll put it on normal, easy mode, because if you ever play this game, it's really hard. I'm not that great at normal, we'll go on easy, because it's still pretty tough. You just get easier enemy regener generation and increased scrap rewards, but the end boss is still hard to deal with, as well as you can still get messed up spawns and get your ship really ruined. And you can see the Zoltan Cruiser. We have a Zoltan Shield. It's an unexplained technology. We'll have a basically an extra little shield they have to punch through before they can hit us. So we will start up and move these guys into the proper locations. Um, we will send Ryoko will be the pilot. Then we'll send Zyre to there, and then him to weapons. No wait, no engines. We'll leave weapons alone for now, but we need someone in the engine room for sure. And then power down the med bay so we have enough to get our halberd beam up. And unfortunately we can't get our Lido missile up, but we can always get some scrap when we got it and do what we gotta do. But for now I feel alright with what we have. There's a store off the bat, but we'll jump here. Hopefully we can grab some scrap before we get there. And we'll just do two sectors an episode if that's alright with you guys. And this one, scans re reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Um, yeah, these are the cool little things that the game can get throw at you. And um, we can do explore the asteroid field, but unfortunately we get attacked by a pirate, so now we have to deal with this. And the halberd beam, we can... cool thing about beams is you can drag it across, so this beam I would like to drag to hit both their shield and their weapons at once. As you can see, we're losing our Zoltan shield pretty quick, and thankfully our shield helps deflect their missiles, but our beam went, and we took out both of his weapon systems, which is good. Offer four fuel, two missiles, 14 scrap, not enough. We won't surrender. You guys attacked us, so we're going to take you out. And basically, I don't think we'll even have to finish them off. I think, they're, yeah, the asteroids will do it for us. Perfect. And we get one fuel, two missiles, 20 scrap. Not too much more. All we have to do is wait here for our FTL to recharge while we take some asteroids to the ship. And we'll be all right. And the reason why I put these people in these locations is that you need a pilot. If you don't have a pilot, you won't go anywhere. I have someone in the shield room, so my shield will regenerate faster, and someone in the engines, because if I take them off engines, you'll see we'll lose 10% evasion. So we need someone on the engines to make sure that we can still dodge and all that fun stuff. So we got 50 scrap. Let's see what the store has. We probably can't get too much from it, but we'll still check it out. Continue. And pipe beam, halberd beam, heal beam. Wow. Not very good stuff. 
we can pick up an extra crew member here, which is really nice. And in this case, um, I actually will buy an NG because he repairs really fast and we can use someone on our weapon system to help our weapon recharge faster. As you can see, this will go down a bit once he gets on. So our weapons will fire quicker now, which is good. That will also help us take less damage in the long run. And I think I'll jump up here just so we can get, even though we already cleared that, just to get a better look at the map around us and um, see more of it. Because as you see, you can set it up where you can see where you're, t um, where you go and like the path you can take. So I like to go where we look at as much of the map as possible. And here, a captain wants us to have his services, and we don't need his services. We'll just avoid the battle. Don't have to fight him if we don't have to. You can fight him if you want for scrap, but we're just starting out. We only have one weapon, so I'm a little nervous about that. If we still don't need your services, buddy. Don't follow us around. We'll jump here and then over. I think we have plenty of time to make some jumps to sweep a lot of this sector. Oh, wow. There's life forms on the planet. We'll investigate it. And, wow, I don't think we can talk to these guys. We'll try to communicate peacefully and nothing happens okay so let's move on we'll jump here yeah we'll jump here and then up here we should have enough time to get up we might get into a battle or two which will be fine so we can try to get some scrap we'll actually fight this ship because we haven't been getting many fights and we need to fight to get some to get some money so we will aim our beam at the shield, and this room, I'm not sure if we'll reach the weapons room. That'd be cool if it could. Nope, it just misses. So we took the shield down, so now we'll sweep and take out his oxygen and his weapons if we can. We'll see how it goes. I think his beam will get through. No, nope, actually, our Zoltan shield was still up, so we were able to avoid it. And then we'll sweep again, and almost done. Almost done. So this should be the final sweep, because at least this can penetrate shields. As you can see, so it's not too big of a deal if he has shielding up. Let's see how this goes. This should finish it in just a second. Perfect. And I wonder what we got for it. We got three fuel, two missiles, 23 scrap. Not bad, not bad at all. And then we will jump up here and head towards the exit. We might be able to squeeze in one more jump before we hit the exit, but we'll aid the civilian ship because why not? And also more chance for scrap. Thankfully with this ship, they're so close together, we can hit, um, can do two damage a room, so we can actually take them out with one sweep. And thankfully our Zoltan shield will absorb a lot of the blows for us, and hopefully this sweep will actually take it right out. Nope, just one, one, and two, that's right, I forgot, um, if it has to go through a shield, then you'll lose one damage per shield it goes through, so. Took the shield out, that's why the last room got two. But now he can't dodge us at all. If you take out the pilot room, there's no way they can dodge you. So just finish off the ship. And hopefully we get some good stuff. Two missiles, one drone part, 10 scrap, contact the ship. Um, Alright, they thank us and they patch up our ship, even though it didn't need patching. But hey, it's still nice to them. So we'll squeeze in one more jump before we hit the exit. Hasn't been too much in this sector. We made a little bit of scrap, but not much. And we'll fight this ship too, because we really need scrap now. Um... Went a whole sector with almost nothing, so we'll actually do this to take out the shield first and then hit two more rooms. Hopefully it'll take the shield out, we'll see. And it does, perfect. And we will not surrender, that's not enough, only 11 scrap. Decent amount of fuel and all that other stuff, but I really want a lot of scrap right now, we're kind of short. And as you can see, this is why easy mode is not that easy. This is still a tough game. It's still hard to get scrap and to do what you gotta do to level up your ship to make it able to survive later game. Take it out, we get two fuel, one drone, 24 scrap, so that's alright. Let's hit our exit. Moving on to the next sector and continue. Oh, we'll intervene to defend the outpost. Why not? Because, like I said, early game you'll have pretty much a bunch of easy stuff to kill, so. The more chances you're scrapped, the better. This might actually hit all three rooms, I'm not sure, we'll see. At least we know for sure it'll hit the shield. Yep, it hit just the shield and then that, so then we will aim for these two rooms. Should take it out. Because now he can't dodge us, as you see. His pilot room is down, and his shield's down, and they don't have repair drones on there. So, all done. 
It can't dodge, two damage for sure, and wow, we got pretty decent stuff. We're up to 84 scrap now. Next sector, we will head towards the Mantis Controlled Sector. I hate the Uncharted Nebula, because the Nebula is very, very annoying to deal with. It can take away a lot of your power bars, which is not fun at all. And then we'll jump, and we will head to the Distress Signal, because those are good chances for a lot of scrap. And here we will lead them to their destination, why not? They give us 18 scrap and a quest marker. Quest marker's over there, we can hit it pretty quick, but we'll take our time getting over there. 105 scrap isn't bad. And, oh wow, intruders got past our shield, so they're gonna attack us. This is bad news, because they're mantises, so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get all these people to run into the med bay, and we will power up our med bay. And then we will take out Ryoko immediately because we don't want him to get killed by the Mantis. And now these guys are starting to get starved for oxygen. And the reason why I wanted to fight them in here is because we will be healing during the fight, so hopefully um, we will be all right. Let's actually close these doors before we get choked with too much oxygen. And then just open up the rest of the doors to start cycling once more. Perfect, and we'll get Lombard back on the weapons. He was the engines, Zyra was the shield, and then Ryoko took a little bit of damage, so we'll heal up the rest of the way, and then send him back, and then get the power back into our shield, and what can we do now? We can most definitely power up our second weapon, and... Huh. For now, I think that's good. We'll get another engine, too, for more evasion. So perfect, we got our missiles up, and good. We're looking good. And I just spent all my scrap and there's a story here. Damn, that sucks. So we'll hit here, then hit the store. Hopefully we get some scrap on this jump. And yes, we will prepare for battle. Wow. I think they're gonna board us, so we'll close our doors, actually. And we'll focus this on the shield and this. And the Lido Bomb will go for... Well, actually, no, we'll go for the shield first and see what happens. If it hits and it misses, so now we will sweep these three rooms with the beam. And he's trying to get away, so we need to stop him from getting away. And perfect, we were able to stop him just in time. And then hopefully we can finish him off now. They boarded our ship again. So that should finish that off, and we will move these guys, and we'll, we'll wait for a minute until he actually breaks through. Okay, they are in, so we gotta take you and run you to the med bay. Not enough power for our shields now, so our shields are down, but thankfully he is defeated. So we don't have anything to worry about, so we'll start getting guys in here to attack. I don't want them to destroy the shield, because it'll actually take some hull damage if they take out the shield. And then we'll take these guys out before they die, bring them to heal. So now there's only one left. We should be able to take them out with these two guys. Yep, no one's getting hurt or close to dying yet. Yep, perfect, we were able to do it. So Broom, you were on engine, so you can go back to engines. Ryoko, oh no, Lombardi, you were weapons. These two gotta heal now. So that's why I like fighting and then swapping out people and having enough crew to Balance, so you don't have to worry about anyone dying or trying to run away and getting pursued. Plenty of people to take over the combat once you take someone out, so it'll be all right. And then get these guys back. And the reason why, when people leave the rooms, we lose stuff is because the special ability of the Zoltan is you actually get a free power bar, so they power up the station that they're in. So that's why we're getting like free power ups, and when they leave, that's why we lose power. And then, yeah, let's go to the store. Only 42 scrap, but maybe we can make something happen. Not sure. Um, not much good stuff here. We can pick up another... No, we can't pick up another crew member. We could get a human, but... I'll just pick up some fuel, so we need a bit more fuel, and... That'll be that. Alright, we'll jump over here, head towards that quest marker, because that can give us a whole lot of scrap. And possibly find another store along the way. And here, Young Mantis, we'll side with the fugitive, and... Oh, wow, so... That there is a fugitive, he's running away from somebody he's saying is a hostile, and he wants us to protect him, and we can either help him or tell him no, and we helped him, 
And it's a 50-50 shot, I think. He'll either be happy and join your crew like he just did, or he'll sabotage you and run. So at least this was a good one. So we'll send him in the med bay. He can kind of hang out there. And we'll see if we can hit their shields first. Well, I think that's actually a defense drone. We'll probably shoot down our bomb. Yeah, it does. So we'll have to hit, um, use this beam to hit through the shield, the drone, and the weapon area. So we'll do this again. We need that shield down, and I don't want to fire another missile because it's just going to be shot down. It'll be a waste. Nope, the drone center's still up, so we'll still have to rely on our beam, unfortunately, because like I said, it'll be a waste of bombs. That'll just shoot it right down. Well, hopefully we'll be alright. I think we will be. Perfect. Down. And we get two fuel, 26 scrap, and the quest marker's here, so let's hit our quest. And let's see what these guys are going to do. Oh, they brought us into an ambush. That's not very nice of them. So we'll try to take out the shield with our missile. It's our fastest charging weapon. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll hit. And it does. Perfect. So their shields are still up, unfortunately. So we'll shoot one more missile at that shield. See if it will hopefully go down. And it, in fact, it does. So then we will take our beam and sweep these three rooms to make sure the shield stays down. And he's trying to run away, but thankfully he took out his engine so he can't. And we did finally take our first bit of damage, but um, let's try to just continue to take them out. I moved the NG over because he repairs really fast. He gets um, doubled repair speed. And now this beam should do it. Perfect. And we got 29 scrap for our troubles. Broom is the only one that got hurt, so we'll send him back to heal. And the only bad thing with the Zoltans is they only have 70 health, so it kind of sucks, but it's alright. And send them back here now. Perfect. And our ship, we can actually upgrade to and No, we can't yet. We don't have enough. So we'll hold off and we'll see if we can get a store nearby. So we'll head over here to see mo more of the map in one shot. And you hear that music. We are getting into another fight. We have a drone on us attacking, so that's not good. We'll take out the shield first, hopefully, with one Lido missile. Perfect. And then we'll use this beam to sweep across. Um, nope, we'll use a Lido missile again to hit that shield. And we can hit these all these rooms at once, I think. Perfect. And we can take it out in one sweep. Awesome. And we get 32 scrap for that. Perfect. So we will jump and we will hit our distress and then our store. So this could be a very good sector for us. Let's see how it's going to be. We need more firepower for sure. And distress signals come from a small space station. Okay, it's defense systems gone haywire, but since we have an NG, we can do this blue, which is always a good result. And for that, we get a Pegasus missile, 36 scrap, two fuel, two missiles. Nice. And the Pegasus missile, I'm not a big fan of it because we already have stuff that takes a lot of power, so we will sell it at the store for sure. And get some more scrap and hopefully buy some good weapons. And hull beam, halberd beam, we're not getting some really good, not getting very good choices here. That's all right. We'll sell our Pegasus missile for forty, and then we can buy huh, hull beam two power, halberd beam three power, two damage per room. Um, I think we're good. This beam is tempting, but I'd rather beef up our ship a bit more and um, put our engine in there and get one more of each of those. Perfect. And I think we can squeeze in, oh yeah, Distress here, we'll hit this Distress and then we'll leave the sector and we can end the video here. Like I said, we'll do two sectors of video. Now that we have our sensors up to two, we can actually see what our enemies are doing and where they're working. And now we can att plan our attacks accordingly now, depending on who's in what room. And we can see what they're doing, so if they're healing that, we can always attack something else. But let's sweep across all these rooms, and that's not enough, so we'll just finish them off. So we got a pretty good setup here, and 23 scrap, two missiles, perfect. And this is the bad thing, I took a little too long, we'll go to the exit, we're going to have to fight a rebel ship because as you saw that that red stuff that was coming up towards us, that is the rebel fleet getting closer and closer. So now we definitely need to hit the shield with our missile because our beam will do no damage at all. So hopefully this hits, and it misses, perfect. 
just what I wanted to happen. But here, if we start getting our butts kicked, we can run for it. We did hit the shield, so now we get a chance to take the rest of the shielding down. Keep putting pressure on them. We're taking a bit of damage, but we can quickly turn this around, which we are. Get this halberd going, um, hit the oxygen. And I think we'll be able to take him out no problem. And then we'll hit the weapon so he stops launching missiles at us. And then this should finish it, thankfully, and we'll send our NG over to um, repair their sensors as soon as we're done. And the ship is defeated, all we get for that is one fuel, that's all you ever get if you get attacked by the Rebel Force. So, repair our sensors so we can see again, and make sure our ship isn't damaged, which looks fine. So, so far so good, I mean, we could be doing better for sure, but we're not doing horrible. We haven't taken too much damage, we can always go repair this at a store. So we will jump to our next sector, and the next sector we will be playing in is, like I said, I hate Nebula, so we'll be going to the Rock Control sector. And I will show you guys maybe the path we'll take in the next video. Um, if we hit jump, it looks like, um, yeah, this will lead us to nowhere. No, we can actually, yeah, it looks like staying in the bottom and moving up and down might give us the best chance of seeing more stuff. I don't know, we'll see when we come back next time. But I hope you guys enjoyed FTL. This has been a, a resurrection, if you will, of my first series I ever did for YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And just leave me some comments if you think I made any mistakes or if you enjoyed the series. Or maybe in the next series or in the next video, whatever ship you want me to use. And if you want to be a crew member of the ship, just let me know. If you're a subscriber, I will definitely make you a crew member for the next run through. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, just leave a like and favor. That helps a lot. Also, subscribe, become part of my winner's circle. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, everybody, have a great day.